I'm going to set nice athletic stance. If I have a partner, they clap. I want to make this reactive. Okay, I come out. As I approach the cone, I drop my body height. I get low. I start braking. I touch. I drive. If I want to move in that direction, I need to shift my shin angle, produce force into the ground, drive back. Drop, run through. All right, as we go through this, we want to start picking the pace up, start picking the intensity up, leading into the intensity that we're going to be working on for our speed session. Maybe I switch feet that I start with, so I'm not always loading one side or starting on one side. Okay, we want to be good on both sides. Don't create any imbalances. Okay, I set, I go. All right, so that is moving forward. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, lateral movement. Okay, I set, I drive with the lateral movement. Same principles apply moving forward, okay. As I start approaching, I wanna change direction. My body height needs to be low. If my body height's doing this, my belly button's shifting up and down, my feet aren't on the ground, it takes a lot longer to then change direction. Body height stays low. As I approach, I start braking. Body height starts coming down, I touch, boom. Drop that knee, look at the shin angle, produce force into the ground. It's gonna propel me back in that direction. Okay, as I approach, I brake. I decelerate, I brake, I re-accelerate in the opposite direction, okay. Nice athletic stance, set, go. Out, touch, out, touch, shift through. Walk back recovery. Hit the same thing on the other side.